The ground under your feet or the car you drive may seem solid, but they are really just energy. Nothing is solid, everything is energy. In other words, solidity is an illusion. Anything which seems to be in a solid state is just the bundle of subatomic particles vibrating at a very high frequency. Everything is energy. Words we speak, thoughts we think, actions we take, emotions we feel and the observations we make. Even our human body is just a lump of subatomic particles vibrating at a very high frequency. The presence of objects with mass and energy distorts the space-time, implies for attaining our state of nothingness, universe should be free from such objects. The state of nothingness means no energy, no matter, no radiations and no spatial curvature, that is empty space-time. Researches shows space-time at the tiniest scale, that is Planck scale, isn't flat. Empty space-time itself vibrates and curves. This fundamental uncertainty occurs due to the instant creation and inhalation of particles and antiparticle spheres. This temporary change in the amount of energy is known as quantum fluctuations. Universe is one large sea of energy that flashes in and out of existence in milliseconds over and over again. In mass energy equivalence equation, Einstein also showed that everything which exists is energy. Even our thoughts are what put together and hold together this ever-changing field of energy into the manifested world we see. Our senses has a specific gamut which perceives the sea from a certain limited stance. The elucidation which forms due to the perceiving is not in correct and accurate observation. Research shows this energy is associated with our thoughts and determine what the energy create. Everything which we see is started with an idea which grew into the big picture of the physical world we experience. Our thoughts shift the universe at a way quantum level to create the physical world around us. Quantum mechanics shows nothing can exist independently of its observer, that is, observer affects his reality. Hence, when observer gives his attention to something, he creates that thing. Energy creates matter.